Hello and welcome to today's how-to video. Today we're going to be covering how to separate out your audio. This will allow you to do multiple things such as decide what you hear, what your stream hears, and what your VOD records. And will also allow you to determine the volume levels of each of those individuals. We'll be using the software of Streamlabs OBS, VB Audio Software, and Soundtrack by Twitch, and we'll be doing this on Windows 10. If this video, if you find it that it became very helpful and helped you be able to do what you want to do with your audio, please just feel free, hit that like, drop subscribe, and you know, I'll be able to do some more. And down in the comments below, let me know if there's anything else that you need help with when it comes to Streamlabs, and I'll see what I can do to help you out. Without anything further, let's get into it. So the first thing that you are going to want to do is navigate over to vb-audio.com. Head over to the VB Audio software site. All the links will be in the description below for any of the software that I'll be using during the stream. You're going to head over to Audio Apps and you're going to download the cable out input and output. So you're going to download this vir VB Cable Virtual Audio device. I highly recommend, if you're able to, download the extra cable packages. Uh, you can donate and be able to get two other virtual audio devices, so you can get cable A and B, or you can also grab cable C and D. This is very extremely helpful if you have multiple different things you're trying to separate out. Uh, if you're wanting to separate out your Discord audio, your Streamlabs audio, and your music, um, and also separate that from things like you know, your web browser or your normal desktop audio. Next up, you're going to want to go over to Banana tab, and you're going to download the Voice Meter Banana application. This is the software that we're going to be using to determine where the audio from your programs is going to end up then going to, and then we're also going to use that to be able to capture that audio into Streamlabs OBS. Make sure you download again for the correct what you need. Uh, you can also download just the Voice Meter Pro setup, hit install, and just install it straight from there. Or you can download the actual zip file and go from that. Once you do have those downloaded um, and installed, it is going to ask you to restart your computer. Make sure that everything is put in and installed correctly. But once you've Got that done, come right back to this video, and we'll pick back up where we left off. Okay, welcome back. Now that you have your computer restarted, everything's installed. You're going to want to navigate and open up the Voice Meter Banana program. Once you open up this program, you're going to see this interface. So you're going to have three physical channels three physical inputs, and then you're going to have the two virtual inputs down through the center. You also will then have three hardware out. Now your hardware out, this is going to be your options of whether you want the audio to go to your headphones, your speakers. Um, if you have any other devices that you send audio outward to, that's where you're going to be able to select this from. So in this case, I have my audio going to my headphones. So then I can hear whatever I have in all of these different channels, I hear all of it. So for this video, what we're going to cover first, though, is that assuming you did not get the other cables, that you're just wanting to separate out one item, then that's where we can use just this virtual input channel. If you downloaded the other virtual audio cable, the first one I told you to download, that will allow you to do a second item within this. And we can cover that here in just a little bit. But once you have this open and running, you're going to want to open up your sound settings. And you're going to want to go to the advanced sound settings. Normal sound settings page, you're just going to go down here, advanced sound options, click on that. 
you are going to want to set your output, your default output as the voice meter input VB audio voice meter VIO. That is this channel right here. Now in its current state, you'll be able to have all of your items just in this channel right here, your, all your computer audio, everything um, will all be right there. And you would be good to go for that. Next up, you're gonna to wanna to go over to Streamlabs. And you're going to want to set your desktop audio. So you should have your sources and everything already set up. You should probably have a main audio source that captures all of your audio. You're going to go to the properties and you're going to set it as your voice meter input VB audio voice meter via. Now, any audio that comes through my desktop, any program I have open or any music, um, we'll all go through that and be able to be set for that, that input right there. Now, if you want to separate out your audio, so you may want to separate maybe Discord or your music from everything else. Maybe you want the desktop audio to be recorded into your VOD. But as you saw on mine, I have my games audio separated, my Streamlabs audio separated, and my music separated. This allows me to individually adjust for myself of how loud or soft I want those items without affecting the stream. I can easily adjust for the stream within Streamlabs OBS just by using the slider bars in OBS. So there should be a, if you downloaded that other cable that I um, at the beginning, right? The virtual audio cable. Mine's going to show up as cable A, but yours may not show up as cable A. It may just show as a VB audio virtual cable. You're going to select that cable. Put it into that first slot or any one of these three channels. Name it what you want to use that for. So if you're going to use it for your music, to separate your music because you want everything else to still be recorded, then add that as your music. Once you have done that, you are going to go back to your sound settings. And you're going to find the program. Now, if you, for your music, you may have to hit play on your music. So and there we go. Now it shows up. So what I want to do is select where I want this to go. I want it to be different than my default output. I want it to go to the virtual audio cable, the one that I put for that main channel. Now we're gonna talk about getting that music into your stream so that your stream can hear it. First, you're going to want to add in a specific audio output capture. Add source, name it for whichever capture you're trying to do. So in this case, we want to capture the music. We're going to add that source and we're going to set the device as whichever option that we chose within the voice meter banana. So in this case, for music, we chose to do the VB audio virtual cable. Hit done. And now you see that there is a music source added. So now when you play the music, that'll go through and go to your stream. Now that you have your audio source added into Streamlabs OBS, you want to head over to Soundtrack by Twitch. Download that application, get it installed, and then you're going to want to open that application up. The first time that you open the application, 
you may be met with a red bar that says that your version of Streamlabs OBS is not supported. Double check to make sure that you've updated your Streamlabs OBS to the current version. Current version right now is Streamlabs OBS 1.0.7. If you do have the current version, it's pretty simple. Just click on the refresh this page and now it will work. Once you've done this, you can go back to Streamlabs OBS and we are going to add one more source. Once you open this up, you should now see Twitch soundtrack. If you don't, close out of OBS, reopen it, and then it should show up in your sort or in your standard section of OBS sources. Like that, add it, name it what you would like to name it, and then get it added in. Next up would be to go over to your advanced audio settings. In your advanced audio settings, soundtrack source is going to automatically show up with all of these tracks turned off and only track six turned on. Find your music source that you want to eliminate from the VOD. Set it for channel or for track one, and then turn off track six. And that is it for the setup. Now, two things I mean, you do want to make sure you know is that before you hit that go live, make sure that the Twitch soundtrack application is open. You do not need to have any audio running through it. You just need to have the program open. Also, if you've had to restart your computer, you will need to reopen up the voice meter banana application. Anytime you shut down your computer and restart it, turn it back on, that application will close down. So you will need to make sure that that application is open and running as well. Hopefully this video helped you out and hopefully this will help explain exactly step-by-step -step on how to get music into your stream or any other audio source separated out into your stream. It is extremely helpful for you and your stream. If you have any other questions, again, just let me know. Put some comments down below. Let me know what was most helpful about this video or what you would like to see in the future.